Hey guys, today we are loading up a 53 foot drop deck semi. In the previous video, we loaded up a 53 foot drop deck enclosed semi. So you're gonna see there's a little bit of differences. And I promise I'm not gonna post a video every time we, we uh, load up a semi full of hay. Uh, with our operation and our inventory, we have to sell right around four semi loads a week. So I wouldn't even be able to keep up with the videos and you guys would get bored. But I did want to get out and show you how we load these different types of trucks. Uh, right now, I get quite a few calls a month about guys potentially buying uh, an Arkison bundler or how we handle hay or guys looking at the next level or whatever. And it's nice to just tell them, hey, check out Farming Insider. I got all you need right there. Now, I swear I am not sponsored by Arkison. I'm kidding. All right, we really are not sponsored by them. Uh, we write them a full price check or close to or whatever for every piece of equipment we buy. But we do like their equipment. If I can do my part in sharing how much their equipment helps us and it helps their business in the long run and they continue to improve and generate better products, more efficient, more cost friendly, whatever, it only ultimately helps us. For loading flats like this, we make our bales roughly 32 to 34 inches long. So they, they fit three wide on a 102 trailer pretty nicely. This is one of the first times we actually did this, so that's why I want to document it. And it worked out extremely nice. Usually we were turning them and just running them long lays along the trailer, sort of how those semis over there are currently loaded. And that's okay if they're going to hand unload it or whatever, but when a client or customer specifically wants to machine unload it, this way makes it a lot better and this is road legal. So we're super excited at the way this worked out. We do not actually need to prep our hay for semis like that. We can pull it the same way it comes out of storage. I just had that particular hay over there and set aside in this barn because this customer came out and tested hay and I didn't want it to get boxed in when we were making more first cutting. So that's the only reason we did that. Guys, do me a favor. We are getting so much support. Uh, it's been unbelievable. The channel is growing really well. So if you guys like this type of video content, please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe. And if you want to drop a comment, we've made some wheat videos, straw videos, a bunch of hay videos, uh, some different equipment videos. So what have you guys like to see most? Can you please drop a comment and let me know and I'll get right after it. It's awesome. Thank you guys. I don't know if I can do it with the camera. Watch me flip it, manpower. All right, that sounds good to me. You can't do it by yourself. Here, we got we got Sammy. Sammy can handle it, I, I know it. Easy, Sammy. Sammy beat my side. Who did that? Tucky. comes Jeff on his daily field checking. It's still wet, I'm sure.
What do you think, Sammy? A solid load right there. That is a solid load. Where's it going? About an hour away. Can't tell you. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. You wanna go higher? <laughs> you can if you want. It's good. So this can't be the final push. What is this one called? Well, I have to push on it a little bit. Oh, come on. We'll just square the face up. So it looks good from behind, huh? That's the final push. All right. I think you did good. What am I thinking? What are you thinking? That's the question. Nothing. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? No Always got to be thinking, right? I don't think it would need more hay. Yeah. Well, your dad's driving around seeing if it's dry, so. That's pretty good. <laughs>